<laughs> How's it going, guys? So there is this movie that I've been wanting to check out for a very long time, and I actually just saw it, and it's called The Invitation. It is a film directed by Karen Kusama. The Invitation tells the story of a man named Will and his new girlfriend, who are um, on their way to his ex-wife's um, dinner party. What actually happened was him and his ex-wife used to have a son who sadly passed away in a car accident of some sort, I believe it was, something like that. And they both suffered severe depression and it led them to their divorce. So uh, two years later, um, he has a new girlfriend and he is now on his way to um, his ex-wife's dinner party and she has a new husband. Ben, 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 ben. So they show up to the dinner party and um, yeah, there's just like all these people there, um, mainly friends of, you know, his ex-wife and the husband and uh, there's something a little bit odd about this dinner party. I'm not going to spoil it for you. That's for you to watch and you to find out. But let me tell you guys, this movie is pretty awesome. This is a great movie. It's very suspenseful and it's one of those um, very slow movies. You know, it's one of those movies that definitely, you know, takes most of the movie to build up all that tension and then you know finally at the third act like just a whole bunch of shit goes down but um yeah this is um for the most part a very very slow film um it's not action-packed in any ways you could probably tell it's just a very you know suspenseful movie I, like i said i think is the best way to describe it i don't know what it is about this movie there's like some sort of magical spell or something that it has that just like forces you to just keep your eyes on the screen and just watch it because i was invested in this movie the entire time it was on like I just I was into it I wanted to know what happened next even though there was nothing really happening like you know the first hour of the film but it just there's something about it that's just interesting like I can't explain it like it's very it does a very good job at keeping you invested into the story and into the characters and yeah these these people at this dinner party they're very strange um I honestly I was gonna talk a little further about the story but I'm not I'm just not going to say anything else about it, I'm just going to have you guys watch the movie for yourselves, but things get a little weird, and yeah, it's just, I'll, I'll leave it at that, things get pretty weird. But this is one of those movies where um, the third act of the film, where, you know, shit hits the fan, um, it kind of, it feels like you're kind of watching a completely different movie from like the first hour of the movie that you were watching, it just feels like, it just kind of like feels like it transitions into something like completely different, and it's like, it just like, it comes at you and you're like, whoa, you know, I didn't expect that. It's just, I don't know, something about it feels like a little bit off, like it doesn't really fit you because, you know, the first hour of the film is great. It's like, you know, very suspenseful, very, you know, one thing I did love about this film is um, the very, very ending, like the last, I'd say, 30 seconds of the film um, are great. I absolutely loved it. And for me, it kind of redeemed the movie a little bit for me because, like I said, I was a little bit thrown off at the third act because... It was really cool. I like. I really liked what was going on. It was really cool. It's just something about it seemed like it didn't fit with the rest of the movie. But I really loved, you know, the last 30 seconds of this film. I thought that was great. Um, definitely one of the best parts about this movie. And um, yeah, just like me, I mean, the whole movie, like as a whole, is pretty great. Um, very, very, you know, like I said, suspenseful. And um, the actors, I got to give props to the actors because they did an amazing job in this film. Everybody played such a good, like, you know, weirdo, like, I can't explain it, but everybody in this movie did a very good job. The film was very well shot, very well directed, um, very, very, you know, good looking movie. It is a very well directed film, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about The Invitation. Without spoiling much, like, I honestly could keep going and I could keep talking about it, but if I did, then I would probably spoil some stuff for you, so I'm just gonna stop the review right here and just tell you guys to go watch this movie because it's pretty awesome. But like I said, don't expect anything, you know, action-packed. Uh, it's a very slow film. Uh, it takes quite a while, you know, to build up, but, uh... It's very, very good. Like I said, I was invested into the entire movie, and, uh, yeah, I just could not, you know, get my eyes off of the screen. It was very, very good. But, uh, yeah, so, overall, I would probably give The Invitation a 4 out of 5. I thought it was a very, very great film. Um, one of the better movies I've seen this year so far, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about it. Just go check it out. It's pretty good. I feel like this movie's not being talked about enough, you know? I feel like it's, a uh, kind of an underrated movie, so, yeah. Definitely check it out if you guys have that chance. It is well worth your time. And that is it. That is it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Jacob Palacio, and I will see you guys later. <laughs>